Okay, this is a reaction video. Uh, this is from uh, Okay, this is a reaction video from Connor Sullivan. This was suggested to me by PP Filmacher. Uh, he said I should watch this one. American at a German soccer derby. Uh, looks like he's in Stuttgart, and uh, let's see what what this. One. I did I did want a similar one earlier, uh, about a week or two ago, um, with my passport too, and they were definitely American. Did not know understand the sport. Did not understand. Couldn't understand why the game ended in a draw. Could not understand why there wasn't any overtime or things like that. Exactly what I would expect the first time American to react. It's, it's not, no nothing against them. You know they, they you don't know the game. You don't know the game. Uh, I have known the first uh, time I ever watched a uh, a real football. I, the first time I ever watched football was the old North American Soccer League back in the day, but I didn't see very many of those games. But uh, really, I consider the first time I really saw a football match was the uh, 1982 World Cup, and the first time I think <clears throat> that I can recall going to a, a real football match. I'm trying to think here. I didn't. There wasn't a whole lot of great uh, football matches to go to. Growing up in the day, they had indoor soccer, which wasn't really a football match. Maybe <clears throat> might have been the 1994 World Cup when I saw uh, the United States play Switzerland in up in Pontiac Silverdome. That may have been really the first real football match that I went to live. I've been to quite a few since then. I've gone to quite a few MLS games and that sort of thing. But let's see this American at uh, at a German soccer derby. Look at all these cop cars. Literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four hundred cop cars over there. I don't really have a four hundred cop cars. A plan. As you can tell, I have no ticket. Okay, we're in Stuttgart. I almost went to Stuttgart. We were gonna go to Stuttgart um for the uh uh during the World Cup in two thousand six. We ended up uh, based on the, the train schedule, we ended up going to Cologne instead. I'm gonna try to make friends with some people, or I'm gonna hop the fence and get caught by the police and go to jail. No, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Now I'm not. Yeah, I, I know. I know Stuttgart on the left, but I don't know. I don't know the German soccer. I know the teams, but I just don't know the uh, uh, emblems there. So I, I'll, I'll find out who that that team in blue is. Just a second. Yeah, that's what it's Yeah, that's what I'd expect it to be like. So hear that dude? They're going crazy already. Okay, so we're getting off to a little bit of a late start. I wanted to come here at like 10 o'clock in the morning, but then I learned on Instagram when I DM some of you guys that the caravan, I think that's how you pronounce it, is not happening this year because this derby is so crazy. There are many things that go down that the police didn't want to. Now, there are a lot of derbies in, in football that are far well known. The Milan derby, uh, the derby between uh, 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 in Germany between... Uh, Schalke and um, Bruce Dortmund, and a lot of derbies in England. You know, there's so many teams in London, but the North London Derby. You also have the Merseyside Derby, Liverpool and Everton, and you have the derbies up in you know Newcastle and Sunderland. But Sunderland's been is, is I think moved up to the uh, Championship now. But there's there's a huge a lot of derbies <clears throat> all around the world to happen such as fights and stuff like this so the caravan is when all the valve b stuttgart hooligans and fans they march to the stadium they do fireworks if i can show you the videos i can show you and yeah that happens look it that's the one thing i found out when i was in europe I, I thought i knew how big football was in europe until i actually went there for the world cup and i was, I was completely blown away by it. So these are all the Valve B Stuttgart fans right here. Two years ago, I was at this game. It was crazy. It was my very first German soccer game. They got the police out here too. Look at these fat. Literally, these are such huge police vehicles I've never seen in my life in America. Whoa, Look at that, bro. What is that? It's like a war truck. 
gibt's da noch Parkplätze? Alright, so the police are basically trying to make the derby this year, I think, a little bit more controlled. Because two years ago, there was a bunch of fire. If you guys want to see the video that I made last time, it's right up here. It was crazy. My first soccer game. Everybody said, yo, you gotta go again. So me and Mike are here. Riding up to the stadium, hopefully we can get in. We have no tickets. And I have a little bit more background now that I went to the first one. Karlsruhe and Stuttgart are cities that are very close. They're like an hour away from each other. So this is called the Baden-Württemberg Derby, which is- Baden-Württemberg Derby, Karlsruhe and Stuttgart. Okay, so those are the two teams that are playing. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is, and if you don't know what a derby is, just if you, it's the first time you ever heard the term derby. A derby is just a, a match by two teams in the same, from the same area. Uh, uh, Arsenal and Tottenham are both in North London. So when they play each other, it's called the North London Derby. Um, uh, Liverpool, uh, you know, Everton is located in Liverpool. That's the Merseyside Derby and so forth. But yeah, that's a Derby is just a match between two clubs in the same area. It's one of the biggest derbies, I think, in all of Germany. It, it definitely make the top 10 because the fans from both are so passionate. And in Germany, you have to know, it doesn't matter what team you like the best. Like in America, if I like the Packers, the Green Bay Packers NFL team, I can still root for them even though I live in L.A. But in Yeah, that, that is true. Uh, let me finish what you said. Germany, it's where you're born. You cannot go against where you're born. If I'm born in Stuttgart, I can't root for Karlsruhe. Never. The fans freaking love their squad to the death. They probably will try to fight after the game. I'm not trying to get involved in that. If we see some of it, we'll just film whatever happens. That's the best thing about my videos is like, I don't really have a plan. As you can tell, I have no- That is one thing I have I, I have noticed, you know, because in the United States, I, 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 I'm, a, I'm, I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan in the NFL, but I've never been to Pittsburgh. Okay, I, I'll, I'll, one of these days, maybe I'll tell you why I'm a Steeler fan, but I forget the, I've never been to Pittsburgh before at all. Okay, and if I wear my Pittsburgh Steeler outfit in Los Angeles or any place like that, nobody cares. Okay, that's, that's just, you're a fan, good good on you. Okay, but in, in Europe or in Germany, uh, and most places in Europe is a different, different, different kettle of fish. No ticket. I also have to tell you this. The game two years ago was so crazy that they're not selling alcohol inside the stadium this time. That's amazing. In Germany, they're not selling alcohol. That's, that's amazing. Usually they do. The fans go nuts. But apparently the people in charge, they thought that, hey, it'd be better if we don't sell alcohol inside the stadium. But what people are doing now is they're pre-gaming. So they're getting very wasted before the game starts. The Karlsruhe fans, they had to take a bus from where they're from all the way to downtown Stuttgart. And then they had a police escort into the stadium. And that's so no fans from both teams can meet up and fight. The game's going to be good, but... Honestly, the festivities are what I love. I love the fact that this is such a, like, you know, rivalry game. Let's go. I'm going undercover. Do I look like an ultra? Look at sunglasses, black hat, freaking gray. No, you don't look like an ultra. You look like an American trying to sneak into a German football match. Walking like this. So viel Pfandflasche here. Last year, dude, the bottle beer bottles were everywhere. This time, they have like those nice um, wagons uh, with all of the beer in there. And I don't know if they leave it for the people that need it. You know, the people that ha don't have as much money. But I think I've heard that. Look. Forty minutes before game time, I think it's, it's pretty dang packed. Everybody's just out here drinking. They got some music. I'm surprised at all these uh, these wagons filled with with uh, beer. See that? It's crazy. And if you're gonna turn all that in, you make a couple thousand dollars, probably euros. All right, so no tickets. We got no tickets, so we're gonna look for tickets. to the World Cup in 2006, you had the similar situations. Uh, you're going in there, you get, get frisked before you go in. The uh, ticket booth is actually sold out, which is expected, right? It's a dirt, and that's fine, because this is how it always happens. Maybe we can go talk to the people that work at the gate, or maybe someone has an extra ticket, or we can just like slip in, you know what I mean? 
I find it unlikely that they would, they would just be able to slip in or somebody would have an extra ticket. I don't know if they have scalpers out there like they have in the United States. <laughs> or the secondary market. <laughs> The police are going to be ready on dark. The game starts. Look at all these cop cars. Literally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four hundred cop cars over there. They have the horses here, cops with like machine guns and stuff. I think this is all just like to make sure that the fans know that if they ever get rowdy, they'll get put in their place pretty fast. So, so me and Mike, we're going to try to get a ticket from somebody in the front of the stadium. And once we do that, we can get inside, it'll be crazy. I'm inside, Shelby. Deep close to us. Dude, they literally have three cops. I don't know if I could film them, but they're all standing back to back to back like this with machine guns right over there. German. I remember when I, when I, when I was leaving Germany, uh, when I, uh, um, at, at the airport, this was 2006, uh, everybody got frisked. And I'm, talk, I'm talking about, when I talk frisk, you know, with the cops, you know, searching and everything like that. I'm talking like a professional frisk. I'm not talking about like, like a little couple pats down. I mean, he, you know, frisked me all over and grabbed my crotch uh, to make sure I didn't have anything. So I, I, I don't like, I don't want to be frisked by anybody. And I, I do believe that those uh, cops will use those weapons if they need to. Soccer. I think this happens all over Europe, but German soccer especially is like... That's something in Germany that I really do like is that... Oh, the game's starting, bro. They're booing. We gotta get in quick. But I like the fact that the Germans, they leave the fun for the people that are um, have less fortunate, I guess. Which is kind of cool. Bro, hear that, dude? They're going crazy already. That's why I want to go to a club match. I don't want to go to just a... Like the World Cup, like I said, I've been to Schalke's arena before, but I want to go to a club match. We just went up to the cops that are like holding the guns, right? And I said, "Kans, kans du mit, mit dir vormachen? Or kan, kan ich mit dir vormachen? Because I want to take a photo of them. And then one of the ladies holding the machine guns like, are you Connor? I said, yeah, that's crazy. And then I told her I have no ticket because the one that was supposed to be sent to my house didn't come. But then she gave us some directions. So we are on the trail. No, no tickets? All right, they're closed too. So this is actually good because the adventure is better. That's the thing. You have to remember, let me tell you this right now. It's better to plan always, but anytime something doesn't go according to plan, just look at it as an adventure because you don't know what the next step is. And yeah, we almost didn't get into the World Cup game that I went to in 2006 at Schalke because uh, the, the tickets had your name on it. We had three tickets and then we, we, we didn't have the name on it, on it, but we found a way to get into it. It was eventually we talked to somebody, they, they, they helped us and we got to a, a girl who's probably about, what, about 16 or 17 and we talked our way into it. Because you don't know what the next step is, it's an adventure because you have to constantly search and say, who, what should I do? Make choices. And at the end of the day, like probably by the time the video is over, the story will be good, I hope. We're going to try to make friends with some people or I'm going to hop the fence and get caught by the police and go to jail. Don't do that. Fail. You can see the cops behind me. I kind of, on the low, filmed them. Oh, here's the cops coming right now. I don't know if they're gonna tell me to stop filming, but there's people over there, and then there's all the riot police behind me right now. You can see them. I'll put it down, and then if they tell me to stop, I'll stop. Those are the riot police. They're decked, dude. It looks like Lord of the Rings or something crazy. Do you want to come out America? Can you help me Ryan to come in? I am. I have seen you on YouTube. Really? What's your name? Matthias. Matthias. Thank you, this will work? Dude, yeah. Matthias just gave me a card. He was uh, <laughs> at, the, at the council. Yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. you can, you can. It's like he got in. You can take this card, you can go inside. Perfect. I will not see this, this f***ing game. Okay, thank yes. you. Oh, my. Thank you. What the heck? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> dude, let him. That's what I want to do. I want to be able to have you know, a lot of followers on YouTube, show up, people know who the hell I am, and give me free stuff. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> That's his oh, I, he's the best quarterback in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best hey. quarterback. Best quarterback. Thank you. Yeah, thank Wish you. you the best. Huh? Dankeschön. Ah, it's crazy. They they remember from when I played quarterback at Stuttgart. That's awesome. Danke alles Deutsche. I love you guys. One more card and then we go inside. I didn't know what he was doing. He just walked up. He's like, and he took his card out. And he said, "Here, you can have this." I said, "Why?" He said, and then I realized that he's seen the video. So that was dope. Dankeschön.
<laughs> this is it. This is what it looks like. Look at this. There it is. Bro. This is literally. I was sitting right there, bro. See that? So two years ago, I was in the KSC board right there, and that's all the KSC fans now. Dude, the stadium's freaking packed, dude. Crazy, huh? Hey, ball beat. It doesn't seem to be as like crazy as last time, but it's still. It's always a good vibe at a German soccer stadium because the people are so passionate. Like I said before. The yeah, that's just one thing he knows about. People are very passionate over there about the football. And that, that, that is super awesome about going over there and seeing that firsthand. Like I said, I'd love, love to go to a club match. Now, I have seen a lot of clubs play over here in the United States. I've seen Arsenal. I've seen Manchester United. I've seen Barcelona. I've seen Real Madrid a couple times. I've seen Paris Saint-Germain live. And I've seen a bunch of teams, uh, Milan. I've seen a bunch of teams play live, but I've never been to one over here. That's what I need to do. They're rooting for where they live, bro. Val will be Stuttgart or Karlsruhe, and the fans are passionate. Maybe after the game, it'll be crazier, or maybe they put on some fire. So let's see. <laughs> fans all the way up there. These are the crazy Valve fans and then they also have like the normal families and stuff too but they also jump. Look. Bro, that's tight. Valve is too good. Hey, that's tight bro. I was outside the stadium, but they scored. Let's go see what happens when they score. Look. football match and you know, I, I I've never been to one myself but <clears throat> I do know about I've seen videos like this before about people who've gone to these days it is not quiet it is not people just sitting on their chair on their on their on their ass cheering whenever thing good things happen they are pretty much active the whole game long and singing and jumping up and down it's a really a different experience and creates an amazing environment <laughs> Whoa. I'm right here behind the Apollo B block, the Kanchata camp, and I'm undercover, you know what I mean? Looking like a ultra. Hey. Hey. I want to see a goal right here. Okay. Stuttgart is the home place of Jurgen Klinsmann, the former U.S. national team coach. game is not as crazy or intense as it was last time because the police really realized how crazy last game was and was like, no, we got to make sure that this is not as intense. So they canceled like the pre-game rituals and stuff like that. And they brought a lot more police. So maybe when we're leaving, we can check out like the police escorting everyone out because this time I'm in the Val B block. Last time I was in KSC, so I had to wait for an hour in the KSC block before all of Val B leaves. So maybe we can see some of the people leaving to the train. I can show you that. All right, let's go. But I will say this, no matter how good the game is on the field or how crazy the fans are, it's always a good atmosphere because people are like really excited about the game. And that's why I like sporting events. That's why I always play sports my whole life. So like now I want to show you if we can, I want to get close to the KSC fans and see if they're, uh, how they're feeling. Well, they just lost 2-0 in a derby. I can't imagine they're doing very well. 
the cops are getting ready, man, because the game's about to be over. So two years later, I'm revisiting my home from the first game, and it was literally right there. See, look, see the fence? I was standing right there with all the KC fans, but last time they were way more crazy. I don't know why. Probably because there weren't as many police or something, but they had fire, and they were down there, like, throwing it on the field. It might have had something to do with the fact that they were serving alcohol uh, during the game the last time you were there. Which was kind of fun for me because that was the very first time I've ever seen anything like that. Last time too, see this? There was like people right up in here yelling at each other, throwing beer at each other. But there's no more beer in this game. Yeah, they didn't. They probably didn't sell ticked seats. Seats for that and that tickets for those seats so they could have the police there. That happened last time when people get up on the fence and they start getting, you know, personal about stuff because they're, I think they're all drunk, or I think a lot of them are drinking alcohol and they're like, yo, come to me, or they do this, or they do this, which means third halftime, meet after the game and fight pretty much. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Game's over, bro. That's it. The Baden Württemberg Derby is done. Bauer beat 3 und Kausur 0. And I think last time, Bauer beat 1, I think 2 0. But uh, this is definitely something you should check out if you're in Germany because. Who know? The emotions run high and the energy in the stadium is dope. It's fun. It's fun either way. No matter if your team wins or loses, you know, I'm not a super crazy, like, sports fan where I want to fight someone if they don't root for the same team as me, but I am a sports fan who loves energy, so this is perfect for me. Okay, you see down there? So the Karlsruhe fans, they have to stay down there, I think, until all of the Valve Stuttgart fans, see, we're all leaving. Yeah, they want all the, all the, all the Stuttgart fans to leave and get out of the way so they can avoid any confrontations. Now, they have to wait down there with the police and then the police like surround them entirely. If I can't film that now, I'll just show you videos of last time. And they take them personally to the train, make sure they all get on and then say, hey, that's good, bro. Yeah, then they take them on the train and make sure that they go back to Kalsura. But I know that there's gonna be some fan meetings that aren't, uh, you know, legal. Get all stuck in there. We're, we're all just chilling right here, you know? Here we go, bro. Let me look at these horses. Dang. This is the way that all the Valve B fans are walking, and on the other side of this right here, there are all the KSC fans. But like I said before, for some reason, it wasn't as crazy. And the people that are on the other side last time when I was here, they were like... Again, yeah, probably because there was no alcohol served. I mean, they may have gotten drunk before the game, but they weren't drunk during the game. And well, maybe they were drunk during the game, I don't, I don't know. It's, but I don't know how much alcohol they were able to drink. But it's possible that be, they didn't have as much to drink as, as you would have thought they would have had. And when they went into the game, they, were, uh, they weren't drunk. They may have been buzzed. But they weren't being served alcohol during the game. So that's probably why it's not as, uh, as bad as it is now. Banging on it like Scheiß Stuttgart, Scheiß KSC. Okay, and they go all the way there. So look, it's like a hundred yards apart. Scheiß KSC is over there, Stuttgart is here, and yeah, there's like, there's gotta be a th Oh, they're making fire over there. Frick, it would be cool to show you what's happening over there, but I don't really know. Yeah, yeah what's up? <laughs> Let me see you Let me see you Look at these guys. This thing. Yo. Okay, this is actually cool to be on the Valve B side this time when I'm exiting the stadium. Let's see what happens. I think they have like a police blockade over here. The KSC fans, there's some KSC fans walking here and mixing over there, but I think it has to do with the fact that they're not the, uh, like the... Not the ultras, not the crazy people. The the, uh, the ultras. The ultras are like blocked out over there. They got the the riot police. They got the horses, and they got that big fat whatever cop car that is. It looks like a caterpillar type thing.
the away get fans generally create the atmosphere at the stadium, and it makes it for a, a, a really a, a fascinating experience. When I'd, I'd love to, to to do, like I said, I've, I've seen a lot of clubs play. Um, you know, I mentioned a few of them earlier in the video, but I'd like to go to a stadium in Europe and experience it. Yeah, so it's, it's actually not as crazy as last year. Like last time, I thought that they had way more police, but this time they still do, man. Like they got literally a riot police line. So if anything did happen, they could stop it real quick. Police, these guys got like AK 47s, horses, you know what I mean? Trample you, stuff like that. But the, the fans are pretty mellow this time. Uh, Valve B's walking that way. They got the police barricade right in between. And then, uh, yeah, they're letting Frauen and like young kids that don't look like they're ultras just walk through, which is surprising to me. Can you see that? They got the helicopters in the air too, man, you know? All right, guys, the video's over. You guys saw what happened at the game. It was not as crazy as the first game. Das war nicht piro there. They didn't have any flares, and there was just a lot of police that basically stopped all the crazy stuff that happened, but it was still a good time. Um, yeah, choose. <laughs> okay, that was from Connor Sullivan, American, the German soccer, uh, German soccer derby. Uh, Interesting. Interesting. I, I, maybe there's another one I'm going to take a look at for this one. Uh, maybe that's the one that they were talking about. The one where they they showed pictures of the fans, uh, uh, what, you know, going go, going a bit crazy. But you know, but, but again, I'm I found it fascinating. Found it interesting. This guy looks like he knows a little bit more than the the guys from people from Passport too. Not that they were bad. They they were just you know never been to a make a match before. They were at Kaiserslautern. It wasn't a Bundesliga match. I'm not sure this was a Bundesliga match either. But uh, hey, uh, Karlsruhe and, uh, and, and uh, Stuttgart uh, was an interesting uh, video. Uh, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Please click like, share, and subscribe for Connor Sullivan. Please click like, share, and subscribe for me. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching.